we're going to show you how to set up an admission bed. First, you're going to start with a clean giraffe. How you know your giraffe is clean is you're going to look for the little card that the housekeeper puts inside your bed. Then you will turn on your giraffe. The button is back here. To open the canopy of the giraffe, you're just going to step on the canopy release. We gotta wait for our bed to warm up. Once your giraffe bed has finished its internal checks and it's ready to use, you can release the canopy by pressing the canopy release. Grab your giraffe temp probe and hook it onto the bed. This will tell you what the baby's temperature is and be controlled at all times. Next, you can take two clean blankets and place on your mattress. Once your blankets are ready, you will place a chuck stat on top of your blankets to prevent a mess during the admission process. One of the okay. next items that you're going to need for your admission bed is a blood pressure cuff. You're going to choose the size of your blood pressure cuff based on the, the type of baby that you think you're going to be getting. So a size 1 cuff would be for a micro preemie size baby. You have a size 2 cuff that's for a regular preemie baby. A size 3 that's for most newborns and a size 4 which would be for your larger newborns. You will also need a pulse ox and leads. Based on the size of your baby this too can also change. If it's a micro preemie you will need limb leads. If it's a term child or a larger baby they will use regular leads. You're also going to need a tape measure for head circumference and length. You will also need a thermometer. But remember not to place your thermometer inside your bed because it will get hot from the heat from the bed. So we'll place the thermometer in the drawer. Yes. You will also need a full suction in case your baby needs immediate intervention if there's something in their mouth or nose. You're also going to need something to secure your skin temperature probe. So you have a small size heart for your smaller baby and a larger heart for your term baby. Next, you're going to secure your leads and your pulse oximeter to the CAM monitor. The next step is going to be to connect your leads and your pulse oximetry to your monitor. This way, you'll be ready to place them on the baby once they enter. Green goes into the red, white into the white, black into the black. The pulse oximeter, you open the end, the plastic. So when you're connecting your pulse oximeter, it has a male-female end. It goes in and you close the plastic. Once you have all of your stuff assembled, you can now close your bed. Button on the side, just push down. You will also need a syringe pump to administer medication and an IV pump to administer your IV fluids. You also need to make sure you have your emergency equipment available to you and ready. You need a bag and mask with the mask being size appropriate for your baby and a wall suction canister set up for your baby. You also need to make sure that you have a working stethoscope at your bedside. Now your giraffe bed is ready for your admission. Once your patient arrives in the unit for admission, you're going to want to place your baby on your giraffe. You're going to undress your baby. Once your baby's undressed, it's going to be ready to be weighed and measured. So to weigh your baby, you're going to scroll through your giraffe screen down to your scale. It's going to say weigh baby. So you press for the weight. It says weight. Follow the directions. 
You wait at the side without touching the bed. Then you follow the directions on the screen, which says lift baby. So you lift your baby, hold your baby until the bed tells you to replace. Replace baby. Once the baby's replaced on the bed, make sure you don't touch the bed or lean on the bed, and it will give you the weight for your baby. So our baby is 610 grams. Next, you will measure your baby's head circumference, 31.5, followed by a length. For demonstration purposes, we are using a doll. A real baby will flex its leg. And we've got 38 cm. Call your measurements out to your partner as they will write them down and record them for you. Next, you attach your leads and your pulse oximeter so you can get a complete set of vitals. Next, you're going to place your leads on your baby. The white lead goes on the right upper chest. The black lead goes on the left upper chest. Sorry, baby. And the green lead is going to go on your side. Next, place your pulse oximeter preductally, so right wrist. Next, you'll place your blood pressure cuff on your baby to get your blood pressure. You can take blood pressure on calf or on the baby's arm. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use the calf. Then take a temperature. Turn the thermometer on by pressing the button. How you'll know it's ready, you see the dashes. Place the metal tip directly connect, touching skin only all the way around, axillary, under the armpit. The F will flash until it is finished. You either hear the beep indicator or the F stops flashing. That is your temperature of your baby. 98.2. Next, you're going to secure the skin temperature probe to your baby. This will communicate to the bed what the temperature is of the baby, and it will either heat up the bed to keep the baby warm or decrease the temperature if the baby is too warm. Once you have the skin temperature probe secured, you go to your giraffe bed to set, select the temperature setting for your baby. So to set your temperature for your baby, you're going to go to your option of your comfort zone. And you press, and it's going to give you your baby's weight. So we can dial in our baby's weight. So our baby weighed, for demonstration purposes, we're going to use a 1,700 gram baby. Then you dial in your gestational age. So for gestational purposes and demonstration purposes, we're going to choose a 34 week baby. And we're going to then, so we'll set it at 34 weeks. And then you can set the age of your baby. And this will tell you your desired temperature range to start for a neutral thermal environment for this infant. Now that you have your baby hooked to the monitor and your weight and measurement done, you can record your first set of vital signs. Then you're going to obtain a blood sugar on your baby to get a baseline, and then you'll be ready to call the physician to update them on your baby's condition. When you're ready to call the physician, there's two pieces of paper that you're going to need to have with you. One is the newborn delivery record. This is the paper where you're going to find all the important information that you're going to need to convey to the physician about the mother's history and the baby's delivery. Next, you're going to need to make sure that you have a set of newborn admission orders for your patient so you can record the physician's orders as he gives them to you over the phone.
Once you have your admission orders, you will proceed with following them out. Get yourself an IV cart, which is equipped with everything you would need for labs, MRSA collection, blood culture collection, heel sticks, anything you would need is in this cart. Other paperwork that you'll need for your admission is a Ballard. This is a cheat sheet that is helpful when you're doing your Ballard on your baby. You will actually record your Ballard in the patient's electronic medical record. You're also going to need to start your SBAR for your patient to give report. You will also need to complete an SBAR form for the charge nurse for the charge binder and start the CPQC for your patient. It is also handy to label the discharge teaching instructions and have them at the baby's bedside on admission so you can start the teaching process. The goal for your admission is to have all your tasks completed given your baby's condition within an hour and this includes calling the doctor and getting your orders, drawing your labs if ordered, starting an IV and initial initiation of your antibiotic therapy and documenting your first set of vital signs in your the patient's electronic medical record and also doing a complete examination on your baby. If you can remember all the tasks, there is this handy NICU admission checklist which will help to remind you things that should be done in the admission process, preferably within the first hour. You need to have admission vitals, you need to have weight and measurements, newborn admission assessment is to be completed, a Ballard, newborn meds, eye ointment and vitamin K which is given via an IM injection. You need a Hep B vaccine but you need to have a consent from the mother before giving this vaccination. If you do not, then you will wait. Also, if you need to send the cord blood, if any baby has all O-type mommies or any negatives of any infant, you need to send the cord blood to the lab. Also, you need to start the CPQC, which is for our benefit 